And, and a lot of times when, when we even talk about divine providence, people go, oh, that sounds a little scary. Uh, maybe for Mother Teresa and St. Francis, and, you know, Jesus, that's fine, but not the rest of us, you know. It always gets shoveled off onto the mystics and saints and the avatars. Oh yeah, it's for them, not for us. Wait a minute, God's laws are equally applicable to all the children of God. Why would, they wouldn't even be God's laws if they weren't equally applicable. It must be for more than St. Francis and Mother Teresa, you know, and Jesus. So basically that's been a key principle for me. And, and when Francis was talking about letting go of possessions, it's not so much, you can't just point out to the world of form and say, oh, I'll, I'll give up a bank account and I'll give up a house, I'll give up a husband and this and that, because, you know, I'll tell you the story of Tolstoy. You know, a lot of people know Toy Story, the, the great writer uh, from Russia. Tolstoy was a big fan of Gandhi. If you read his writings, he, he adored Gandhi. Nonviolence and living in trust and simplicity. And you know Gandhi, he lived, even in form, we'll say, which we're told simplicity is just following the Holy Spirit. It's the state of mind. But even in form, you know, Gandhi would sit there for countless hours. Many hours of Gandhi's life, he had a little spinning wheel. And you know what he was spinning? Thread. And what he would do with that thread would make his clothes. And he didn't wear much. He didn't have like a hood and a parka and all these kind of things. He had a little what he called homespun. <laughs> So, you know, there's a, some contentment in this guy. If he's just sitting there in hot India and he's spinning his little spinning wheel and his wife's there and some animals around the house and some children and he's just spinning, spinning, spinning. I, I don't think that's very complex. I don't think he was into like the stock market and derivatives and <laughs> some of this crazy stuff that's going on now. He was just spinning his homespun. And Tolstoy really admired his nonviolence, his simplicity, the twinkle in his eye. Oh, he just really admired him. And so Tolstoy thought, you know, I'm going to do like Gandhi does, and I'm going to live like Gandhi does. And so, as the story goes, Tolstoy gave away all his possessions, like Francis. Tolstoy did the same thing. Well, we were talking about what's going on in the mind versus the form. Frances ended up giving away all her possessions and becoming happier and happier and happier and happier. Tolstoy gave away all his possessions and he got more and more depressed. Because <laughs> his motive for giving up all the possessions was, he looked around and he saw all the peasants in Russia, all the poor people, and he thought, they've got it so bad. It's always not a good motive when you're thinking, they, <laughs> they've they got it so bad. You, you hear that? They've got it so bad, I'm going to give away all my possessions. And when Tolstoy gave away all his possessions, he didn't feel like Francis happy. He felt poor. <laughs> because it was, he didn't give it up in his mind. He just went through the motions. He was on autopilot. <laughs> Renunciation. And, and as you know, Tara Singh and many great teachers, Krishnamurti, teachers from India, have talked about renunciation, where it can be just a show. Almost like in the Middle East, you know, when people, when the Jews go to the wailing wall and they wail, <laughs> they cry and they cry and they wail and wail and wail at the wailing wall, you know, and yet sacrifice is not asked of us. We're not asked to cry our way back into heaven, nor are we asked to give to the poor, thinking that just by giving possessions and resources that that will spring us immediately into the kingdom of heaven, because we know a lot of people have tried that. I've even had people who heard my parables of those travels from 1991 to 1996, and they said, well, I did what you did. I said, <laughs> what did you do? He said, just tossed it all aside, this job, money, everything, and I took off on the road. How did it go? I got mugged. <laughs> I almost got frostbite. I, <laughs> there were days where I was starving to death, wondering 
oh my God, what did I do? Why was I so foolish? And I said, well, I didn't tell you to do what I did. I told you to think. <laughs> think what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs>